Hey, what is up everybody? Steve here and I'm back to do a little modification, if you will. I'll be doing the speed hack on the Super 73 Z1. And let me remind you that this hack is only for the Z1. It doesn't work for the S1s or S2s or RX models. Now, I wanted to be more clear on my uh, little hack video here because I've watched a couple of videos and you're not really 100% sure. And uh, we're going into some pretty sensitive uh, equipment here and snipping wires. So I wanted to make something that's a little more clear. I'll have some pictures. Uh, I'm not going to snip the actual wire because I've already done it. So while I'm not doing the actual snipping of the wire, I will show you pictures uh, pointing out which wire we're going to cut and what I did with mine. If you're interested, stick around. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So um, here's the breakdown of the speed mod for the Super 73 Z1. Okay, so I took my seat off already, skipping over that part there, but there are four screws that you need to remove from your frame. I'll just put a shot on the screen, but the, the exact locations, but we got two here, right? Then we got two up here. So you're gonna remove those to get the seat off. You're also gonna snip the cable ties holding the cable going to the front, which is for the brake cutoff or motor cutoff switches. And then the uh, motor. So this is power going to the motor and controller, I guess, you know. So there are gonna be a couple of ties on the, if you're sitting on the bike, the left side of the bike, going to the back tire or the hub, and then uh, right up the middle of the seat over here, going to the front of the bike, okay? So there's gonna be a few cable ties up there. You're gonna to have to snip those as well. Don't mind this, this is my battery hack. Uh, these are the wires for it. We'll get to that another time. Next, there's gonna be seven screws, okay? There's one here, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And that is to take the seat apart from the battery casing, okay? So we'll do that right now. Okay, so now that's done. I'll split this open and show you what it looks like inside, okay? Okay, you can separate that. We'll put this on the side. Okay, from here on out, you're gonna have to loosen also four screws, one, two, three, four. While you're doing that, you wanna hold the battery down like so. All right, excuse me, the controller. You wanna hold the controller as you're unscrewing these. And just to be safe, I like to unplug the motor from the battery. These are Anderson plugs. They're easy connect, quick connect. And I put them on the side. And my, my setup might look a little different because I already did the hack and I added my own on and off switch up here. Okay? So don't mind that. Okay, so you got that loose. You can see this here, the controller is loose. You bring that out here. Don't worry, it's, it's really tight because of where I put my switch, okay? Um, you have the option of putting your switch if you do decide to put one on yourself anywhere on here. Okay, so before we go on, I'll point these out to you. You're gonna have to take off these one, two, three, four, five screws on the side and four on this edge here, okay? And um, also, when you take these five out, this controller floats in this box. So as you're putting it back together, you're putting it back in here. The best thing to do is get a smaller screwdriver or a ice pick, line the holes up, stick the ice pick in there, you know, and you can hold it, and then grab one of the screws and put it in. That'll hold it in place from that point on. It's just a little tip there, uh, because it was a surprise for me when I tried to put it back in. Yeah, it was going all over the place. I had a really hard time mounting it back onto this box here. Okay. So, okay, so now we're gonna remove the five screws. Uh, this is the controller, okay? And then of course the four remaining screws on the end here. Okay, and as you can see, again, it floats in here. 
the controller itself. So you're gonna have to remove this whole thing. And that is the motor control cover. And this is what it looks like on the inside here. So this is what the inside of the controller case looks like and as you can see I've done some work already by inserting my own toggle switch. You have to decide for yourself if you want a toggle switch. So you can find this white wire right there, it's marked SD and it's uh, another shot there for you but it's between two other wires, a purple wire and a green wire. So you snip that wire there, here's another angle shot for you and you should be fine. And all you have to decide is if you're going to put some heat shrink on it or attach a toggle switch to it. Hey, so that's my video for today. If you learned a little something and you liked the video, please hit the like, share, and subscribe button below. And also, if you wanna know when I put out more videos, please hit the notification button below. And until next time, take care and aloha.